I'm going to show you a wizard that was created with the Cloud Extend product. And this wizard will walk your sales team through best practices for sales call follow up. You can see I have a contact here named Mr. Phil Smith. He's the president of an account named Acme Dynamite. And I've just completed a sales call with Mr. Smith. But after the call, I'm going to expand this guide section. And then I'm going to run the free wizard that walks your team through the best practices uh, for a sales call follow up. So it'll do things like capture notes from the meeting, prompt your users to enter new contacts and opportunities that were discovered, and set follow up tasks from the sales call. So let's begin. First, I'm prompted to enter notes from the meeting, and it turns out I had an excellent meeting there. Mr. Smith really liked the services that we offer for hazardous waste disposal, and I think we're going to get an initial engagement uh, order for our services at our next meeting. Next, I'm prompted to enter any contacts that we may have identified, and currently we only have one contact on this account. And that can be a real problem. Sometimes sales reps forget to enter additional contacts, which means your marketing team can't reach out to them and you don't grow the size of your marketing database. So it turns out I do have a new contact to enter. We met Miss Wendy Jones and I'm going to enter her email address so my marketing team can market to her. And we'll put a phone number in so that I can get back in touch with her. And lastly, Wendy was a vice president at the company. Now I'm prompted, do we have any more contacts? And it turns out I do. We also met Derek Feynman. And Mr. Feynman is a disposal uh, expert at Acme Dynamite. I just, at this point, I don't have other contacts to enter. So now I'm prompted to enter information about any new opportunities. And it turns out we did identify a new opportunity. We're going to do some quick start consulting for Acme. And our standard rate there is $999 for the week. And even though it's going to be a quick sales cycle, it's probably not going to be until the second week of May before I can close this. And they're in the evaluating stage. And so now that opportunity has been created. Uh, I'm not going to enter additional opportunities now, although I could. If I thought we were going to get a long-term engagement from this, I could enter another opportunity. Now I'm going to set some follow-ups for what I'm going to do from this sales call. One thing is I do have a meeting scheduled uh, with Mr. Smith for next Thursday and my actions are going to be meet with Mr. Smith, ask for the order. And so I've now created a follow-up task for myself and now I can set additional follow-up tasks. This might be for other people in our organization. If I left this field alone, this task would get assigned to me, but I'm going to assign this task to somebody else in the organization. In fact, I'm going to ask Jeremy Weber to give Mr. Smith a call the day before our meeting and call Phil, remind him we are meeting tomorrow. So there is one follow-up task set. And I'm going to set another follow-up task, and this time I'm going to ask Luc Clement to schedule a meeting for April 30th, initial discussion and planning for Quick Start Consulting. And of course, this assumes that Mr. Smith is going to give me the go-ahead at my meeting on the 26th. If that didn't happen, I could always go in and cancel this task. And so that's it. I don't have any additional follow-up tasks. At this point, the wizard's finished. It's prompted me to enter my notes from the meeting so we can manage the relationship. It's prompted me to enter more contacts so we have broader communications. It's prompted me to enter a new opportunity so that we can track our pipeline. And we've set follow-up tasks to make sure we're effectively working with this client. On this screen, I could click to get more information about Cloud Extend and see how this wizard was built. But I'm going to now finish the wizard and then show you what we've got as a result. You'll see that. We have those follow-up tasks. This is the one for me, where I'm going to meet on the 26th. Here's the one for Jeremy, where he's going to call the day before to remind Mr. Smith we're coming for the meeting. And here's the uh, task for the following Monday, where Luke Clement is going to call to schedule an initial meeting with Mr. Smith to plan the services. You see, we've got the history from the meeting notes that I typed in. If I click View All, you can see that. 
And then lastly, if we go out to the account record, to the Acme Dynamite account record, and you can see that we have those new contacts, Wendy Jones, the vice president, and Derek Feynman, the disposal expert. And you'll see that we have the opportunity set up for Quick Start Consulting for $999 closing in the middle of May.